Hey, it's Kip K from Make Magazine with another weekend project. You know, back in the heyday, the early special effects days of Star Wars, there's a guy by the name of Andrew Ainsworth who originally came up with the design for the Stormtrooper costumes. And he used a technique called vacuum forming. What they would do is they would create a form and then lay plastic over it and then suck the plastic down to create a mold. And that's how the Stormtrooper costumes were made. And there's millions of things created every day using vacuum forming. This weekend's project is how to make your own kitchen floor vacuum former and you can find it in Make Volume 11 on page 106. I'm going to show you how it's done and we're going to make our own for cheap. First, you're going to need a 2x4 that will serve as our frame. Safety comes first, so don't forget the safety glasses and gloves. I cut pieces that would make a frame 18 inches by 15 inches. I chose drywall screws to put it together, but any screws will work. Drill a pilot hole first to prevent the wood from splitting. And then put the box together. I used 8 screws to make sure the frame was nice and secure. Now we're going to use polystyrene for our mold. I found a whole 4x8 sheet for 10 bucks at a local plastic supply company. Mark a piece the size of your frame and cut it out with a sharp razor or scissors. Then get your staple gun and get to work stapling it securely to the frame. You want to put the staples pretty close because uh, you want this to be pretty tight on the frame. Now the vacuum box is made using half inch plywood or similar scrap wood. You want the vacuum box to be about two inches larger than the frame we just built. So cut out all of the pieces and then assemble the box using some screws. Then cut a one inch hole in one side using a hole saw. This will serve as our vacuum port. Now our top piece will be made out of pegboard. So cut a piece to fit the vacuum box and then screw that in place. Now you'll need a floor adapter that fits your shop vac because that will be used to create our vacuum suction. Mount that adapter securely over the hole you drilled in the side. Now you can use duct tape, but I try to avoid using that stuff any chance I get. So I chose aluminum foil tape that's used for insulation. It's much easier to work with and it's got a nice look to it. Completely tape all the edges and be sure to tape the top smaller than the frame we built. The idea is uh, for the frame to fit over the pegboard holes with no air escaping around the sides. You can use just about anything to make a form. You could use a styrofoam and cut a shape out of it. You could use a little bit heavier duty urethane foam and actually mold something out of that. You could use a form out of some toys, form those. I'm going to use this tiki mask as my form for our kitchen floor vacuum former. This Make Weekend project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. Okay, we have our shop vac plugged into our vacuum form. We have our mold on the vacuum form and we have our frame and our oven set to broil. Now it's time to put our frame in the oven and get this plastic to start melting down. You don't want to leave it in here long and you want to keep an eye on it. Uh, you don't want it to melt. It's going to start getting wavy and uh, you'll see it start getting wavy. Oven mitts. It's going to get wavy and then it's going to get flat. And when it starts to get flat, it's time to take it out. Now this .020 is not going to take long. It's flat and you don't want to burn it. Okay. It's the first attempt so I don't know what's going to happen. It appears to be Soft, it's coming out, it's going over our mold, and on goes our vac. There's our mold. Now I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm going to take my heat gun and use it um, to generate a little bit more heat. Don't overdo it now. Hey, this is turning out good. Now there's so many different ways you can use this. You can make all kinds of molds out of stuff. Now we'll slowly, uh, slowly going to pick it up. It's probably going to hold the mold underneath. No, it didn't. Formed a mold. Our tiki guy's warm. 
I used a pair of scissors and I cut out the mold and I took some spray paint I had and just kind of splashed it with some spray paint and uh, it's kind of a cross between the Hulk and uh, I'm not sure what else is going on with this but uh, you could get a paintbrush and you could paint more details and uh, put some elastic on the back and make a mask out of it or do whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this kitchen floor vacuum former. You really should give it a try. It's fun, it's cheap, and uh, tons of uses for this. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.